Good morning, kids. Here we are for one final episode in the Arctic. But before we review today, teacher Kathy has a Bible story for us. Good morning, kids. We're on our last story in our quarterly. We have a new one pretty, co pretty quickly. Have you ever been playing in your living room and mom and dad come in and sit down on the couch and they're watching you play? And you say, Daddy, can you tell me a story? Can you tell me what heaven would be like? And you go and you snuggle in between mom and dad on the sofa. Mom and dad and Emma were sitting on the sofa one day. Emma says, Daddy, can you tell me more about Jesus? I want to know all about him. Tell me about when he's coming again. Jesus is coming back to take us home to heaven, Daddy said. He's coming in the clouds with all of his angels. Will I see the angels, Emma said. Yes. Everybody will see the angels. Everybody will see Jesus come. You'll see lots and lots and lots of angels, way more than in this picture. And you'll get to see your special guardian angel who has been with you ever since the day you were born. Emma thought, thought, Daddy just smiled. I wonder what my angel's name is, Emma said. And Daddy laughed. She says, what else, is, what else am I going to see in heaven? You'll get to see Adam and Eve, Noah. Remember, we studied about Noah. And Daniel, and Esther, and Mary, and all the Bible friends of God that, we've re that we read stories about, Daddy said. What else will I see, Emma said. Well, you'll get to see the New Jerusalem. Not a very pretty picture here, but in, rea in real life, it's going to be beautiful. You'll, it's a, you'll see the New Jerusalem, and it is a place where we get to live. It's going to be more beautiful than anything you've ever seen before. Emma smiled. What else will I see, Daddy? Lots of animals. Lots of animals. Lots of animals. Look at all these animals here. Look at the lamb is right in front of that leopard. And here's a lamb right in front of the lion and the puppy dog right by the lion and the monkeys and the bears. And they're all going to be friends and we'll get to pet them. You're going to see from the tiniest bug to the big strong lions and polar bears just like Polo that we've been studying about. And none of them will hurt you. I am glad for that, but what else will I see in heaven, Emma said. You'll see the best thing of all, Daddy said. You'll see Jesus and God. You can listen to them tell stories. You'll be able to hold hands and go on walks with Jesus. Maybe have a picnic together. We could eat mangoes, Emma said. And you'll get to wear a crown, much prettier than this. And you'll have a beautiful white robe to wear, just like all of the angels. Emma squirmed off Daddy's lap. She ran to the window and she looked outside. Keep looking, Daddy said. He will come. Jesus will come. He promised us he was going to come. And he always keeps his promises. So keep looking for Jesus every day. Our memory verse is, We are looking forward to a new heaven. 2 Peter 3.13. Can you say that with me? We are looking 
forward to a new heaven. Bye, boys and girls. We'll see you next week. Do you think there'll be big polar bear in heaven, boys and girls, like this guy? We won't have to be afraid of them, will we? We can even go up and rub noses with a polar bear. Come on over here. Let's look at a picture. All right. We've been learning about all different kinds of things in the Arctic. And we learned that the top of the world up here is called the Arctic, didn't we? And we learned that the bottom part is called the Antarctic. And we learned that the Arctic has a lot of frozen ice. And the Antarctic has a lot of frozen land. And we also learned that there's some land up here near the Arctic called the tundra, where they have really, really cold winters and really short summers. And there's some special animals that live there, huh? This is a picture taken in the Arctic. You can see the ice and the water and the snow on the mountains. Wow, we've learned so much. Should we see if we can remember about all of the different animals that we learned about? Let's see if Polo's here today. Polo! Polo, are you here? Yes, I am, Teacher Marcy. Oh, we're going to review some different things about the polar bear. Can you help answer some questions really quick? Of course. Okay. How much did you weigh when you were born, Polo? I, w I was one pound when I was born. That is tiny. Mm -hmm. Only one pound. Now, how big will you grow when you're a full-grown adult? I can be nine feet when I'm on all four legs, but I'm 12 feet when I'm standing up. Oh, my goodness. That is really big when Polo stands up. What keeps you so warm, Polo? I have thick fur and I have a layer of thick fat. Now you look white, your fur is white, but what color is your skin? My skin is black. Do you remember what your favorite thing to eat is, Polo? How could I forget, Teacher Marcy? I love to eat seals. Oh, that's right. Let's look at a picture of a polar bear. Here's a picture of the polar bear. They're white, kind of yellowish. And there's a baby polar bear with its mama. And they're very, very thick furred so that they stay warm. Now we also learned about an orca whale like this right down here. Let's see if Wanda is here today. Wanda! Here I am, Teacher Marcy. Ah, welcome to Sabbath School. Can you remind us what is your family group called? My family is called a pod. Wow, orcas live in family groups called pods. Now this is an easy one. Let's see if Wanda knows though. What color are you, Wanda? I'm two colors, black and white. Right. Now you have a big fin on your back. What is that fin called? That's called my dorsal fin. Ah, that's right. And girl dorsal fins kind of tip over to the side, but boy dorsal fins stand up straight, right? Yes, that's right. What do you like to eat, Wanda? Oh, I love fish and seals and dolphins. Now, I have a question. Is an orca really a whale? No, not really. I'm a dolphin. All right. Thank you, Wanda. Let's look at a picture of an orca whale. Orca whales love to play. They'll jump and splash out of the water. Now let's see here. I'm going to pick up this little guy. We learned about this little guy, didn't we? This is a penguin. It's also black and white. And penguins only live in the Antarctic, down at the bottom of the world. And the tallest penguin is called an emperor penguin. And they live together in a group called a rookery. And they love to eat fish. That's their favorite food. And when the mama penguin lays an egg, guess who takes care of it? The daddy penguin 
keeps the egg warm until it hatches. I have a picture of a penguin. Let's look at that. Ooh, look at the beautiful snow-covered landscape and the big penguin there. They can be about that tall. All right, let's see if Wesley's here today. Wesley! Oh. Wesley's here, huh? Wesley, let's review about you. What is your family group called? My family is a pack. Now, there's a wolf in charge of your pack. What is that wolf called? That's the alpha. And what do the other wolves do to show the alpha wolf that they respect him or her? We hang our heads and put our tails between our legs and we roll over and show them our belly. Right. Now, who takes care of the babies? Everyone takes turns. And I remember something special about your coat. How many coats do you have? I have two. All right. Thank you, Wesley. Let's look at a picture of a wolf. Oh, this wolf is doing exactly what Wesley loves to do. Wesley, can you help us howl? Oh. Howl! That's right. They are howling. Now we learned about all different kinds of tundra animals. So let's see if we can find some of them. We learned about the Arctic hare or rabbit that lives up where it's snowy. And we learned about the musk ox. And we learned about, oh, there's some musk ox up there. Let's see. We learned about the reindeer and the caribou, and we learned about the Arctic fox, didn't we? Now, some of these animals, and we learned about, oh, there's a little animal up here. Let me see if I can move. It's the lemming. There's a little lemming up there. Now, some of these animals that live in the Arctic, they change colors. When it's cold and snowy outside in the winter, they're white. And then when summer comes and the snow melts in the tundra, the animals turn brown. So the Arctic fox and the Arctic hare, they turn from brown to white. And that's called camouflage, isn't it? All right. Wally the walrus. Are you here, Wally? Good Wally. morning, Teacher Marcy. Hi, Wally. We're going to remember about you now. Okay. What is it that keeps you warm? My blubber keeps me warm. That's right. Now, there's something special about you. What does the word walrus mean? Walrus means tooth walker. And you do have such big teeth. Mm -hmm. Look at those, boys and girls. What do you use your tusks for? I use my teeth for climbing up on the ice and for pulling myself along and for raking and digging. Right. And what is your favorite food that you're looking for when you're raking and digging on the bottom of the ocean? I love clams. That's right. And I remember you can take a nap floating in the ocean because you have a special life jacket. Life jacket, huh? Wally has special air pocket in his neck that he can blow up so he can float and take a nap in the water. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Wally. Let's you're, look at a picture of a welcome. walrus. Here's a picture of a big, big walrus. They're so big and they have long tusks. They don't even get cold when it's icy and snowy outside, do they? All right. We learned about a whole bunch of seabirds, too. So let's look at some pictures of some seabirds. Do you remember learning about this seabird? No, that's a parrot. It lives where it's tropical. Let's see what we else we have. Ooh, this is a seabird. It's called a tern. Remember, the tern stays up here in the Arctic when it's summer in the Arctic. But then when the snow starts falling and it gets cold, it flies down to the Antarctic because when it's winter up here, it's summer down here. And it'll fly down here and it'll stay down here and eat fish until it gets cold down here. And when it's winter down here, it'll fly back up. It'll turn around and fly back up here 
and it goes back and forth. Every year it flies a lot and it loves to eat fish. Let's see, what's our next one? Ooh, this is a muir. Remember, they build their nest on the cliff and they have a special shaped egg. It's shaped with a more pointy end so it doesn't roll off the rocky ledge. And, ooh, this is a puffin, isn't it? And puffins love to dive into the water and they even use their wings to swim underwater to look for fish to eat. And we had one more, oh, we learned about this owl, the snowy owl. Look at how beautiful it is, it's all white. It even has feathers on its feet to keep its feet warm when it is snowy and cold outside. All right, we learned about another critter, a seal. Let's see if Sammy's here. Sammy, Sammy Seal. Good morning, Teacher Marcy. Well, hi, Sammy. What kind of mammals are seals? Oh, well, seals are a special kind of mammal called a pinnipedia. Oh, that's a fun word. Let's say that. Pinnipedia. That's right. And there are three different kinds of pinnipedias, aren't there? Yep. Okay, remind me what they were. There's eared, eared seals, seals. Mm -hmm. earless seals, and the walrus. Okay, they're all pinnipedia. Nice. Now, a seal can hold its breath for a really long time. How long can you hold your breath, Sammy? 20 minutes. And what's your favorite food? I love fish. Now, it's so cold in that Arctic water. What keeps you warm? My blubber. That's right. And then you had something special about your eyes. What was it? I have special goggles on my eyes. They're transparent eyelids that That's I can right. see through. That's right. So they have a special eyelid that closes that they can see through. Oh, Sammy, we had fun learning about you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's look at a picture of a seal. Here's a picture of a seal. It's got kind of fur on its body and blubber to keep it warm. So when it's laying on the snow and the ice, it doesn't get cold, does it? Oh, and we learned about some fun, fun creatures. Let's see if Bonnie the Beluga is here. Bonnie! Hi, Teacher Marcy! Oh, Get. hi! Look, here's a beluga whale on the ground here, too. This must be your sister, huh, Bonnie? Yes, it is! All right. Now, what does beluga mean? White one. White one, that's right, because you are all white, aren't you? What is your favorite food? Squid! I love squid! That's right. And, and you live in a family group too, don't you? Yes, they're called pods. That's right. And you have a friend, a narwhal, is that right? Yes. Now that narwhal has something really long coming out of, the, out of its mouth. What is that? A big, long tooth. That's right. A nine-foot tooth, in fact. Now, Bonnie, you're called a sea canary. You're not a bird. Why do they call you a sea canary? Because I love to sea. Oh, that's right. All right. Thank you, Bonnie. Welcome, Teacher Marcy. Let's look at a picture, kids, of a beluga. This is a beluga whale, all white. And then let's find a narwhal. Ooh, there's the narwhal in the snowy, icy water with that really long nine-foot tooth coming out of its head. Okay, we're almost done, but I think, I think we learned about a critter, Marty. Marty, are you here? Let's see what Marty is. Do you remember? Oh, Marty the Moose. Hi, Marty. Oh, hi, Teacher Marcy. Welcome to Sabbath School, Marty. You have really big antlers on your head. They look really heavy. How much do they weigh? Both antlers together weigh about 60 pounds. That's right. Now, I remember you like to go and eat in the water. You put your head clear under the water to munch on grasses and things growing in the marshy areas. What is your favorite thing to eat? I love lily bulbs and alder trees. Oh, wow. And I remember you can run really fast. You're a big animal, but you can run fast. How fast can you run? I can run 35 miles an hour. Wow. All right. Thank you, Marty. You're welcome, Teacher Marcy. 
Oh, I forgot to ask Marty this, but look, I'll show you kids. Here's a picture of a moose with its big antlers. And I forgot to ask Marty what this thing is called. Remember, he has that thing dangling from his chin. That's called a dewlap, remember? Okay, we have one more critter. Let's see if Libby's here. Libby, Libby, oh, there's Libby. Hi, Teacher Marcy. Well, hello. What part of the Arctic does the lynx live on? The tundra. That's right. And you have something growing on top of your ears. What is it? Oh, they're tufts of hair that help me hear better. Oh, and you love to eat, what's your favorite food? Arctic hares. Arctic hares, that's right. And there's something special about your feet. Oh, they have hairs on them and they act like snowshoes because they're so big and they don't let me sink. That's right. All right, well, thank you, Libby. You're welcome. Let's look at a picture of a lynx. Here's a lynx. They have long back legs and little shorter front legs. They have two tufts of hair to help them hear at the end of their ears. And they have a short, stubby, bobbed tail. Jesus made so many amazing creatures that live where it's cold, didn't he? Some up in the Arctic and some down in the Antarctic. And I have really loved learning about these critters with you. You can come by our Sabbath school window next Sabbath morning on Sabbath morning from 1030 to 1130 and pick up one final Arctic craft and a treat. But next week, Next week when you see Sabbath School, it's going to look like a desert. It will be hot and sunny in here. No more snow. And parents, we are going to start offering in person for our desert program. We'll have two different times. You can come in from 10 to 1030. And then our window will be open from 1030 to 11. In case you want to watch online still, you can. And you can come pick up a desert craft at our window from 10.30 to 11. And then we'll run a second program from 11 to 11.30. So we would love to see you here or at our window. All right, boys and girls, let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we're thankful for the time that we've had to learn about so many amazing creatures that you've made that like to live where it's cold. And Jesus, we're looking forward to being in heaven soon with you where there'll be all kinds of animals that we'll be able to run and play with and we won't have to be afraid of them. In your name we pray, amen. All right, kids, see you next week.